What cytochrome isozyme is responsible for the metabolism of adromycin? Hmm? <laughs> All right, you guys. It's time for a quiz. The Cairo Enviro quiz. In 2003, I moved from LA back to Birmingham, Alabama. Right outside Birmingham. It was, I lived in a place called Shouldersburg. Alabama, and I went to Central Alabama Community College to obtain my LPN. I had a very good, very good math tutor there, and I also had the worst teacher I've ever seen in my life. I just want to talk about that real quick. This is an example, different questions obviously, of what kind of crap we were putting up with there. Question number one, what is the capital of Michigan? I put Detroit, it's Lansing, so put an X by it. Number two. The central nervous system consists of the blank and the blank. I put the brain and Detroit. The real answer is the brain and spinal cord, of course. Question number three, who walked on the moon? I put Louis Armstrong. That's a trumpet player. The real answer is Neil Armstrong. Put an X there. Question number four, what was Night Screamer called before they changed their name? I put who cares, which is incorrect. It was actually recess bullies. And question number five, name a body of water. I put ocean. I gave myself a half point. Now, I want you to look at this, and, and if I were to tell you how many, I want you to grade this. What did you get on this? Did you get an A, B, C, or D? And you're gonna look and you say, well, we got one, two, three, four, five, and a half. Well, wait a sec, you're gonna ask. Is each blank worth a point, or is each blank worth a half point, or is it just if I got one wrong, the whole question's wrong? Do you see what I'm saying? That's the kind of stuff we would have to put up with on tests, quizzes, and just in general. And when you asked a question, this is the answer we would get. Lord of Jesus! You don't know that! I'm like, I'm sorry, that doesn't answer my question. We would get nothing but attitude when we would ask legitimate questions. At the time, I was jamming with two doctors, a dermatologist and an oncologist. Well, Lord of Jesus! which is dermatologist, obviously skin oncologist, is a cancer doctor. So when we were studying antineoplastics, which are cancer drugs, I said, dude, give me a question that I can ask her that she's not gonna know so I can rub it in her damn face. Yeah. yeah. And that's when I came, or well, I came up with that, right? That's when he came up with, ask her this, what cytochrome isozyme is responsible for the metabolism of adromycin? Mm -hmm. I threw it at her one day in class. How does that feel? It sucks, doesn't it? She said, oh, Lordy, Jesus, I don't know, Mr. Cairo, that's what I call G-Wiz knowledge. Like, G-Wiz, I'm sure amazed that you know that. I'm like, no, it's actually P451. Duh! I gotta tell you this, too. We were taking a dosage and calc test, which if you don't pass with an 80% or higher, it's 75%, then 80%, and then 85. You have to take it each semester. Took the test. She went around, handed everyone the test. I took the test, turned it in, felt good about it. As we're sitting outside, people said, well, how'd you do on the second page? And half the class went, what are you talking about a second page? We had to go all the way to the dean. There was only one other student who was strong enough, had the backbone and balls to go with me to talk to the dean after I went through the other channels. I talked to the teacher, the director of nursing, then the dean. And it was only one person that went with me, Jamie the Fist of Rage Harris. That's her maiden name. She was the only one that was strong enough to stand up to the teacher for me. After the dean heard about the shenanigans going on, she agreed, oh yeah, you guys are allowed to retake the test, you know? So, if nothing else, my point is stand up and fight the power. And if you're in nursing school, God bless you, because that is hard. I got my bachelor's in psychology and with a minor in sociology, and I feel like that was way easier. Like I. After that crap down there, I was like, I don't know about nursing. You know, I did three semesters of it and did 300 clinical hours. So, I don't know. By the way, I gotta tell you, after I was given the second page, I ended up missing that I got a 78 and 780 uh, percent, that is. So they kicked me out of college, out of nursing school. I got, I got kicked out of a community college in central Alabama. <laughs> Not my finest moment, but sometimes these things happen when you fight the power. 
Anyway, that's a fun little story from my time at Central Alabama Community College. And don't forget that I did write a book, and you can uh, get a hold of me, and I'll, uh, you know, I'll let you know how to get it. So, it's 850, 320 odd pages. Talk to you soon, and thank you so much for watching. By the way, people that agreed to uh, be interviewed and stuff, your day is coming. I'm looking right at you, Ashley and Eric. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm just out of bounds, and once again, and I think it's a sin. Yes.